Let's check the battery cycle count on your iPhone 15 or iPhone 16. Now, if you have a newer iPhone, then thankfully Apple has decided to build in the cycle count directly into the iPhone settings. I'll show you how to find it and what it means. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's head into your settings here. And all we need to do is scroll down a little bit and under personal hotspot, let's tap on battery. Now you can see here midway down is battery health. Mine is normal, so tap on that. And you can see if you have an iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 16, iPhone 16 Pro, you'll see cycle count here. It says this is the number of times your iPhone has used the battery capacity. Now you can see 21 here, I just got this iPhone 16 Pro, or if you're on iPhone 16 Pro Max, it's the same. Now you can see 21, but you might be wondering, what does that mean? How am I, am I supposed to interpret a 21 battery cycle count or 500 or 100 or 1000? Now let's go into a web browser here, and this is really helpful. This is on Apple's support page. And it says, if you have a newer battery, so iPhones, with 15 or early or later, so if iPhone 15 or iPhone 16, it's designed to keep 80% of its original iPhone battery capacity at 1000 complete charge cycles. Now keep in mind, one charge cycle is roughly one day. So usually most people every single night will plug in their phone, it will recharge and be ready for the next day. Basically that is one day equals about one cycle charge. So in that instance, a thousand cycle charges indicates that at about three years, your battery will be at about 80% capacity, which is pretty great. After three years, you'll still have 80%. If your phone normally lasts, you know, say 20 hours, then instead of 20 hours, it will last about 16 hours after all of that. But again, you can always go back here and see the cycle count and it will also show you your max capacity here. Again, I just got this phone, so I'm at 100%. It should just go slowly down until it reaches 80% and then stay at the 80%. Keep in mind, if it does rapidly decline on here or if you're lower than 80%, you might wanna take it into Apple, have them check the battery and potentially replace that battery with a new one. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.